Hello everybody. Let's talk about parking lots today. How much time in general does it take you to find a vacant parking in a mall? Around 5 to 10 minutes. Don't you think that's too much to spend just to find a vacant parking? So we came up with a solution of smart car parking. Now you must be thinking what all do we need? We just need a few components like Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, LCD screen, one infrared sensor and two ultrasonic sensors along with a few jumper wires. Now let's see how a parking lot model looks. It has four parking lots out of which only two parkings are working that is A and B. Now let's discuss about the coding and the working aspect of a model. For coding we have used Python language and the logic can differ depending on your model. For our logic we have maintained a vacant list which we shuffle every time a car enters the parking so that we can provide the user with the nearest available parking. Now let's see a demo. Here, as soon as the car enters the parking, the infrared sensor senses that a car has come and we display on the LCD go to parking A or go to parking B depending on the availability. The driver can go and park the car in the allotted parking lot. Now how do we know if the car is there or not? This is done with the help of ultrasonic sensors. Ultrasonic sensors measure the distance from the ceiling to the floor if a car is in between the distance would decrease and we would know that the car has come. We check this continuously and as soon as the car leaves we know that the car has left and we update that parking lot back to the vacant list and if both the parkings are full we would display parking full on the LCD screen. Now let's see a demo of a working model. We can see a car is entering the parking. It got detected by the infrared sensor and there is a display on the LCD saying go to parking A. The car is parked in parking A. Now comes the next car. Got detected by infrared sensor and the LCD says go to parking B. The car is parked. Now if we try to come inside, it would say parking full because there are no vacant parking. If the car A moves out of the parking and tries to come again, there would be a display on the LCD saying go to parking A. And similarly we can show this for parking B as well.